Yo, what up? It is the 8th of September, 2024. It is currently 10.42 p.m. on a Sunday. In classic Sunday fashion, we have some mail. Oh, we have some extra mail, even. The HRA, a mom letter, and red. I gave all your old clothes to the neighbor's kids. Well, everything you, but your monogrammed undies. <laughs> monogram? What is a monogram? I don't... I don't know what that even means. Well, it sounds stupid, so I'm willing to believe that it is stupid. <laughs> my HRA. Oh yeah, my, my house kind of sucks at the moment. I forgot about that. Yes, uh, my plan, and I guess I'm going to do this now, is... Uh, well, it's not really a plan so much as it is a... Uh, well, I wanted to... I, I got all the kitty furniture recently, and I want to make my main room to a kitty room to, I guess, celebrate it? I don't know. I, d I just like having the full furniture it's a series. Not like, it's te that's formally what it's called, I believe. Although, I don't know if there's anything in the game that even names that explicitly. Maybe in a future game, but I don't know if it does in this game. Dutch hat. No, I've been over this. I definitely don't need a Dutch hat. That one in the middle, this one, what is this? A fairy tale show. I think I do need this, actually. Or did I already get it? No, I do need this. Rare acquisition of clothing. That's an all-year shirt as well, <laughs> which means I've had the opportunity to get it for this entire year and every, every, all the time, basically. Uh, and I've never gotten it until now. How many all-year shirts do I even have left? Arctic Camo, which doesn't sound like it would be, but sure. Um, oh, Arctic Camo, the military uniform, the Porsche, which, okay, three. I'm missing three uh, all year round shirts. Unless, what is this shirt? I feel like I've had, I've got this one. One way tea, okay. I feel like I've seen the poor shirt, although I might be thinking of the poor umbrella. Hmm. Yeah, and then the rest of them, it, the rest of it's seasonal clothes, which makes it a little bit difficult. So for spring, which is, uh, it is in game, no. Autumn? Yes, autumn. Uh, yeah, it's confusing for me. Uh, I need one, two, three, three. So yeah, my, my, I've got a, a range of six different things that I need from the clothes store, uh, in this particular season. So, today we are buying, we're buying everything but the kitty schlock, and I can't buy, can't buy anything, I don't get what this mechanic is, I don't know why this happens. I don't know if it's got something to do with how many- I, I don't get letters. I don't get enough for it to fill my entire mailbox. I don't know why then it, it restricts me from being able to do that. Hey Bree. <clears throat> we'll talk to her while we're here. So I'm not gonna buy that furniture today. Hey boss, will you do me a little favor? Could you deliver this letter to Cube for me? Calm down, it's not a love letter or anything. Yes, I'm sure you can do it within 30 minutes. I mean, it's not rocket science. Leave it to me. Today, I finished and submitted my second assessment item uh, that I have to do of my four ones in this sort of first wave of assessments. Um, and that was cool. And so now I've only got two left. Uh, and I think I'll... Oh, oopsie. They're, they're pretty manageable. I think I'll be... Uh, they're, they're kind of conflicting with each other because they're both around like they're both the same time basically that they're due so i've got to kind of um juggle it a bit but i i, I think i'll manage i mean i, I kind of have to you know letter here you go oh it's from brie i wonder what the letter says hmm, as usual the content is mind-blowing haha <laughs> want to see it i think i can show you brie's secret Bonjour, Cube. Thanks for the letter, Cube. I love mail. Rugby will make you bulky in weird places. <laughs> you want to elaborate on that? Okay. 
That is really soothe the heart almost as much as pizza. Give my regards to Brie. Yeah, okay. Don't know what she meant with that last part of it though. Oh, it's Laddie, Laddie Day. Laddie Day is this Saturday. It's been, so, been a while since the last Laddie Day. I don't think August had many events going on in general. I kind of stopped doing the um, monthly schedules. Like, I didn't do them in... Well, I didn't do it in July, and then I kind of forgot about it for August. Actually, I might have done it in July. I, defi I definitely forgot to do it in August, and I definitely forgot to do it for September because I only just remembered that I was doing them when I mentioned them a second ago. <laughs> you a big fish chicken or something? You gotta see my new fish. That th this thing is so ripped, even its fins have muscles. Okay, snake. Oh, you know what I want to see? I hope Pee-wee is in today because I want to see his, uh, the way his house looks now that I got all of that furniture for him. Because if, uh, yesterday I, I did the flea market and I actually sold, like, everything <laughs> that was, um, other than the, uh, pictures, of course. I needed to keep those, but the, uh, um, the, I think, well, for the fruit furniture, that's what I had in there, yeah, the fruit furniture I sold, uh, most of it at least. A pom pom. I think okay. If Hugh is inside and Genji's inside, and I've seen pom pom, Cube, Bree, and Snake out, then I think both Marina and Pee Wee should be in today. Eek! Listen, promise me you won't tell what I was just doing here. I don't even see it. Oh, good. I wonder what it was. It was it's right in front of Hugh's house, so we can only imagine. Speaking of Hugh. Oh, you know what? You wish I could have bought that kitty bed off of him. <laughs> Take the one thing that he has other than all these clothes. What would you say is the distance between our hearts? This much? Yeah, I guess I would say about the same thing, maybe. Let's move closer, okay? You smell like a mocha java. Thanks. I don't have coffee. I've no, I've had coffee like one time, <clears throat> and it was a thing out of obligation uh, to try it. Um, okay, I'm not. I think I've, I've talked on end about my lack of a palate. <laughs> you know what? I'm not really aiming to, I guess, f quote unquote, fix that anytime soon. Like I'll try stuff if it's given to me, and I know that it doesn't. Uh, have peanuts in it because I'm allergic to peanuts, but you know, uh, and that's, I think that's kind of part of the thing, is that, that, uh, fear of something just, like, slipping through at some point down the line. Because, I mean, that, it happens. It's a not sound like fun reality, but it happens, and people, like, die. <laughs> Which I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm just, I, it's just, it's just a response, it's just a, a, a a, a way I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just my gut reaction. That's not how I actually feel, obviously. I mean, ever, I think most people had that recent case with the Disney thing. Where a woman died because she uh, something she was allergic to was served to her after verification that it would not have that allergen in it. And they... Disney's defense tried to incorporate the fact that the person had, like, signed up for Disney Plus at some point, which somehow covered their- that- covered them in that kit scenario? Canario? <laughs> which, obviously, is total stupid bullshit. It's, like, the most stupid thing that any company could ever try to even attempt. It's just- it's ridiculous. Uh, it's a- it's kind of a passionate subject for me, I guess, because, uh... Well, because I just, I know the, I know the feeling of it. I haven't, I, it, I'm lucky enough to not have, you know, had that happen to me specifically. I have had, like, an anaphylactic shock before, but not, like, I've not, um, I guess, eaten something under the fa false pretense that it was safe for me to eat, only for it to not be. Like, that's, ugh. You have to put a lot of faith into people. But, you know, you'll, you'll always have those sorts of kitchen staff who kind of, who, ne who down, the entire way down never seem to be, like, sure. Which is just, like, 
I, you know, not to be like, I'm not trying to be mean about it, but it's just intensely unhelpful for them to be that, like, not sure about something. Like, even if they, even if you ask them to go ask, like, the, the, the kitchen or whatever. Like, yeah. But whatever, that's a thing. Rant for another day. Oh, look at, look at Pee Wee's house. It's so nice in here now. I mean, he's got a chair. And the chair's facing another chair on the other side of the room. And there's a flower and a dresser. Wait, what? Avert your eyes, it's total chaos in there. <laughs> look, well, look at you, Pee Wee. <clears throat> Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. I've seen him. Right here. Really? Hehehe, <laughs> Ignorus is bliss. You're sharing a house with them too. You probably have a million crawly roommates. You just don't know because they come out when you're sound asleep. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I was a subject of a, uh... Actually, a subject of a thing that I, a, a, a um... <clears throat> It was, I guess it was a, I don't know what I would class the writing as, like, a, it's a personal essay, that's what it is, a personal essay that I had to write for one of my uni classes, and Maruna is not moving out, uh, on the, on that, uh, specifically the, um, I might have talked about this, May, the, uh, at least this is how it is in Australia, we have a system where, um, we have, so uh, food companies are, legally obligated to put anything that they know is an allergen and listed specifically as an allergen like they have to say that it contains this and it's a list of like common allergens that people would be looking out for like soy wheat you know tree nuts all of that sort of thing uh but in food preparation uh you know there's a lot of Things that can happen, uh, particularly a big risk is cr cross contamination, uh, and so in that process, a food could be inadvertently contaminated with an allergen, and so to warn for that possibility, uh, food companies here. Oh, cool, a pink cosmos. This is cool. Uh, food companies will warn about those uh, about the potential for those foods to contain things. Uh, which, I, I think it's a thing, it definitely requires a specific perspective to get why I find that frustrating, and I just think the main thing is that it's like, I don't know. I don't know, look, I don't know how much they care in, in food processing, I'm not gonna ever blame, like, a worker, because I know they're just, like, doing their job, but just, I, for some, somewhere down the line, you have to think, like, you know, how much f w uh, effort are they really putting into, you know, doing the and making it, like, safe or making it not cross-containing? And I think the main thing is that it's uh, an ambiguous label. Because uh, it's may contain. It, it, it plays with your idea of chance, of, of the possibility that it isn't, you know? Like... It's just, it bo and it bothers me, because I think there's definitely people who are going to be like, you yeah, know, whatever may contain, well, it's probably, you know, not. Which, sure, in most cases that is true, but in those cases that it isn't. And so, you know, it's, it's a situation where I, I can't blame people for reading that label and not really caring, because I don't think it's given enough weight uh, on the packaging, and I don't think there's enough care put into actually making those may contains like not exist that's that's how i feel about it personally i think it's kind of a, one of those systems that sort of just thrives in 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 the um i mean in in society based off of institutional all of this crap you know i tried to talk av av avoid talking about capitalism uh, in my thing, but I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's that, it is, it's a symptom of that bigger, that wider issue presented, where it's, uh, you know, prioritizing capital gain and stuff like that, you, know, you all know the, the story at this point, if you hear it means you haven't been getting enough exercise, right, let me ask you this, can you, how fast can you catch a grasshopper, uh, I think I already made the at least 12 hours joke, so I'm not gonna make it again, <laughs> 
but yeah, that's uh, my thoughts. And yeah, I, I'm obviously biased because of my position, but like, I guess put it, like, here's my little example that I like to use is I'm allergic to peanuts. And so obviously I can't have peanut M&Ms. Now I don't care because I've never had peanut M&Ms uh, and obviously I don't care to try. Uh, <laughs> but you know, that's fine. There's not, you know, there's flavors of M&Ms that aren't peanut M&Ms. Uh, except for the fact that if you were to go and, you know, get some M&Ms off the shelf, uh, that's one of the, the main contains, it's peanuts. So I can't have, I just can't have M&Ms at all. Because, <laughs> well, you know, otherwise I risk having an anaphylactic shock, which I don't think is worth having, you know, just a, a chocolate. Now, I don't, I, I'm not, uh you know, posing that to, as a sob story, like, it's not soul-crushing that I can't, you know, eat candy anymore, or specific types of it, but I just think it's, I don't, I don't know, I just think it's stupid that, like, if you want a product, if you have a product line and one of them explicitly contains a certain type of food, then even if you go and get a different, you know, type, a different food in that product line, it still does at some point down the line contain that food, or at least it might, which I just think, eh. for me personally, I wouldn't mind it if anything that was a may contain was just listed as a contain, because then people who are allergic wouldn't take that risk, and I think that would be better just in general. And I get that that would be annoying for like diets and actually knowing and all that stuff. I just, I don't know. But I think that could even, that would probably push companies to actually make those, like, containing that stuff better. But it, yeah, it's an annoying thing, and it's kind of something that I dislike. If you haven't, I've got nothing to say to you. Well, okay, then I'll give you this. Are we saying this because I'm working out? Yeah, I know. I'm t getting totally ripped. Armor suit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that might help, I guess. Extraneous, not extraneous circumstance. It's kind of an extraneous circumstance. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Okay, well let's just uh this looks this looks like like a moving out or something. Well, let's do this. Do I have any other tables? Okay. Marina can go here. Uh you can go here. And then cube can go here. Let's just note how much the gyroids like KK, uh, Rock and KK, because I don't think I gave it the time yesterday. I love the fast paced songs because they go so crazy, especially this guy. He's like head banging. Yeah. Alright, let's gonna wrap it up for today. And fun fact for today's episode, I began it needing to go to the bathroom uh, for some reason. And so I've been needing to go to the bathroom this entire time. So I'm gonna go do that now. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, gonna be about it for today. <laughs>